How do you deal with fear, with despair, and all the dark madness we see on the news? How do you see that in relation to your possible children? How do you handle stress and possible loneliness? Maybe this animation can help you with that. Once upon a time in a distant world, there was a living people who lived from complete and inner fulfillment, a reality seemingly beyond our reach. The wise, sensing the distress of another world called Earth, met to address the precarious balance that hung over its destiny. With sincerity in their voices, they declared that humanity had reached a critical point, comparable to their own planet of many years earlier. The urgency was profound. Earth's survival rested on their intervention. The wise sought volunteers for a mission shrouded in mystery. The chosen ones, willing to sacrifice their consciousness, were to lead human lives on Earth. They would be immersed in a reality so profound that they would forget their true selves, their origins, and even their language. The trip was not for weaklings. They would undergo a deep trance and conditioning and the volunteers would undergo a deep forgetting. They would experience isolation and loneliness and the overpowering feeling of being lost in a world of constant preoccupation with repetitive distractions and busyness. They would live in an unnatural world that seemed devoid of the natural beauty they once knew. All under the pretense of for our health, to save nature or the planet, for our safety, etc. Separated from the beauty and love of their home, they would witness a world marked by destruction and despair. Yet, embedded in their DNA, a spark of knowledge would persist, a reminder of their true origins that could not be extinguished. Despite the challenges, the wise assured them that they would not be alone. Miraculous help would be sent, experiences that would reignite their spark within. The volunteers would encounter others from their mission, recognize each other by shared values and purpose. The wise spoke of a time when these gatherings would intensify, ushering a new stage in their journey, a journey destined to once again experience full divine nature, fulfillment and connection. As the condition of the earth worsened, more and more people took refuge in unnatural obedience, illness, weakness, dependence, distractions and screens. At the same time, the path of these volunteers would increasingly cross. The time of solitude would end, replaced by a sense of collective purpose. The world promised a back natural, beautiful, divine form of existence, a reminder of what really was. The wise shared insights about the earthly adventure of volunteers. They would hunger for connection, seeking confirmation of their intuitions about the world's imperfections. But after the help of the meetings, the focus would shift. The volunteers would shift from recounting the world's flaws to actively creating a more beautiful, natural world. Questions arose about the effectiveness of the mission. The wise, confident, revealed that many had been sent to the earth earlier to lay the groundwork for this crucial undertaking. 
a unique moment in cosmic evolution offered the chance for the unnatural planet of fear, despair and distractions to find its way back to natural love and trust. Concerns about getting lost in the human experience and succumbing to despair were addressed. The wise assured the volunteers that the deeper they would drift into despair, the more powerful the memory would be. Even in the darkest moments, the spark of hope within would reignite, preventing permanent separation from their true selves and loved ones. One last question lingered. Could the mission fail and the Earth perish? The wise answered with a paradox. It is impossible that the mission would fail, but success depends on individual actions until the critical minimum is reached and the total reversal becomes real. While failure was considered impossible, the fate of the world rested in the hands of those who had embarked on this cosmic journey. Every action, even personal struggles, carried cosmic significance and volunteers were reminded that everything they did mattered. Without more questions, the volunteers formed a circle and were put into a deep trance. They wandered into the world of Earth, giving up their consciousness to conditioning and illusion of unnatural separation, fear and despair, to fulfill a mission of cosmic importance. If this video resonates with you, then click here, because then you are ready for four additional videos that go much deeper into this journey, which you will greatly appreciate. I look forward to making this journey together with you.